Well, welcome back to the channel. It would appear that IT Chapter 2 is mixed. Really mixed. Now, the first reactions have come in uh, for a very hotly anticipated movie. And like I do with all of these things, is I break down, take a look. I do a review roundup. I see what the, see what the critics are saying, just to give you guys an impression of it. And then obviously, when it is out, I then give you my review and then we go from there. So... It's interesting, Bill Hader is apparently show-stealing, but outside of that, it's it's very mixed, very, very mixed. I saw this on Twitter first, um, but I'm glad to, you know, comicbookmovie.com for aggregating it all in one place is much, much better. Uh, but the feedback, was, it's just not been that good. So, Eric Davies wrote It Chapter 2, oh, some spoilers for this. It Chapter 2 is a terrific companion to It Chapter 1. Similar vibes, great ensemble chemistry, with a nice mix of humour and horror. Part 2 plays heavier in tone, dealing with defeating the burden of childhood trauma, and I definitely teared up at the very end. Bill Hader steals it. Now here we go. That one's you know quite positive, but again, you'll see as we get into this how mixed it is, and it's surprisingly mixed. Really enjoyed It Chapter 2, which serves as the perfect bookend to Chapter 1. Some great shocks and scares with the young and old cast. Bill Hader absolutely steals the movie, which balances heartfelt emotion with creepy jump scares galore. Uh, this is from Paul Shirey of Joe Blow. A few issues that stuck out. It was about 10 to 15 minutes too long. That's one of the, the feedbacks which I, I read over on Twitter, is that it is, it's just over long and it's drawn out. But what do you expect from a massive book that has had to be split into two movies? So it says that apparently that gives it a slow start and made me feel like there wasn't enough Pennywise, who is played beautifully frightening once again by Bill Skarsgård. So nice to see he's on top form. It was great to see the kids return in flashbacks, but I'm not sure if it helps or hurts the older cast, who could have used a little more screen time. Still, they all live up to their young counterparts well. The time jumps can be jarring at times, but you settle in. So it sounds like it's splitting between times quite rapidly, which is that doesn't doesn't look like it's particularly great, it doesn't sound like it's a good thing. Ultimately, I think people will struggle over which part they liked best, but I like to think of both of them as one film, and the second chapter delivers a satisfying and emotional conclusion to one of the best horror films ever made. I'm steady on, mate. It's not one of the best horror films ever made. It was a, it was a decent film, but steady on. It Chapter 2 is big and ambitious and can't quite handle the weight of its aspirations, but it's still a fine piece of heartfelt horror. The parts that work, work really well, and Bill Hader is every bit the scene-stealing standout we all hoped he'd be. That's good. Bill Hader's actually a really good actor. He needs to be in more stuff. He is actually a very, very good actor. Now, Mikey said, I got to see It Chapter 2 last night, and I have to say, it might have taken us Us's spot as my favourite film of the year. Scary, sure, but with so much heart and humour and a sense of family, stronger than I've ever seen. It's today's Halloween fantastic film. Interesting. Uh, Chris Evangelista said, It Chapter 2 has a rushed, this is where it gets mixed, a rushed, clumsy first act and an odd lack of chemistry among the adult losers. But it eventually finds its footing. This is a big movie, a go-for-broke horror blockbuster, not afraid to make weird choices. Bill Hader steals the show. So again, those comments about Bill Hader keep shining through. In every one of these tweets, it's positive but it's also taking the negatives into consideration a little bit more so than, you know, it would normally, I guess. As a critic, you have to review the good and the bad. Uh, and with respect to this, they are going in very, very mixed. You know, they are complementing the good and the bad uh, and discussing it on a very unbiased level, which shows the kind of mixed reviews that it's getting. Now, he also continued saying, it's also very much a part two, as in it doesn't stand on its own at all. So he goes on further and actually says, in fact, the ideal way to view this would be a back-to-back -back with the first film. So again, that lends itself, in my eyes, to the flashbacks that have been kind of spoken about recently in these reviews, that it, it flits between times quite uh, rapidly. So I think it's definitely not a standalone movie. It doesn't stand on its own two feet. 
Several issues aside, this is one of the rare Stephen King adaptations that actually understands King's voice and successfully translates it to the screen. It captures that unapologetic earnestness mixed with a kind of aw shucks corniness that King does so well. Is it scary? Not really. But the first one wasn't that scary. Uh, it wasn't really scary at all. In fact, it seems more content to go for humour rather than horror. But there are a handful of genuinely nasty moments that you don't usually get in big studio horror blockbusters. Uh, then he also says, oh, and there's a great callback to John Carpenter's The Thing and two fun cameos. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, obviously, we love a bit of Thing on this channel, so good to get some callbacks there. Mike Ryan said, For the most part, I liked It Chapter 2. First half of this pretty long movie is great, and the new adult cast is stellar. Second half isn't as tight, which, again, contradicts some of the previous critics that have said that the first half is actually quite a slow, drawn-out affair. So interesting to see that. Now, he says, I'm not an It expert, but I get the sense, even in the book, its powers, motivations aren't always well defined. That vagueness works with the kids, but I wish this one had some basic rules. Because it feels like it could kill any of these people at any time and just doesn't. Which is it's kind of a common complaint, I guess. Uh, Perry Nemiroff, I think she's of Collider, if I remember rightly, unless she's left. It Chapter 2 isn't as refined as the first, but it's still an excellent ensemble piece oozing with heart and packed with extremely well-crafted set pieces. Muschietti weaves the young and adult losers together super well, giving it to a truly epic feel. So, there's there's a compliment for the weaving of the, the old and the young there. Kate Gardner said that IT Chapter 2 is an amazing look at friendship and trauma that I haven't been able to stop thinking about. Bill Hader and James Ransom still absolutely steal the show, and I, and I cannot wait to see it again. Now, Peter Serretta said IT Chapter 2 is probably scarier than Chapter 1. Contradictory, I guess. Again, previous, this is how mixed it is. It's really a mixed bag. Um, there doesn't seem to be one thing that any reviewers tend to agree on outside of the fact that Bill Hader's a standout. Uh, more Pennywise imagery to haunt your dreams, but it also loses a lot of charm in the shift in focus from the coming of age to the now adult characters. At nearly three hours, it feels long. Jesus. Saw It Chapter 2 last week. It definitely lives up to the hype of the first one by delivering memorable scares and incredible visuals. The Adult Losers Club's chemistry was amazing. It's scary AF. So yeah, look. It Chapter 2 is very good, but not great. I liked it. Didn't love it. First movie is a tough act to follow. 2 is gruesome, strange, but rarely scary. It's a lot of gruesomeness. Um, and it just continues. It Chapter 2 is the biggest disappointment of the year. A dull and bloated mess that spends way too much time rehashing things from the first film. While there are a few good moments, the film ultimately lacks suspense and scares. The performances are also a mixed bag. It Chapter 2... Oh, he continues as well. In terms of the performances, Bill Skarsgård is still awesome as Pennywise. Jessica Chastain and James McAvoy try their best, given the material. Bill Hader's take on Richie was annoying and irritating. So literally, no one can agree. It Chapter 2 is so incredibly terrible, I was begging for it to end. It is hollow and dull, leaving the audience totally numb. With such a stellar cast, the film is easily one of the biggest disappointments of the year. The scariest part is how it managed to be so damn bad. Fuck me. Uh, and then again, good ones, Heather. Pretty damn great. The ending left me in tears. So... Yeah, it's a real mixed one. Really, really mixed. Um, but like I said, I always do this for big movies, which I'm looking forward to, and as well anticipated films, which I think my audience is looking forward to. What do you think of all of these reviews? Definitely a mixed bag. I'm sure we, we, we could all agree there. Um, is this something that you're looking forward to? Did you like the first one? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you are new here, make sure you hit subscribe. You can stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to support my efforts to entertain and remove you from the drudgery of everyday life, please do consider supporting me over on Patreon. There's a link down below in the description box, as well as an Amazon affiliate link and my Teespring under every single video. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm on the stage. 
Take care.